Hi, welcome back to Colski RC. So you've all probably seen loads of videos on the Mini 2 by now. I've had a video where I've done my initial review and then I did the flight test. Today's video is going to be about if you don't, if you already own this, should you upgrade to this? Now that's a difficult question. The benefits of this are huge. This thing flies much better distance. The camera's better because it's obviously 4K. It's better in the wind, there's no doubt about that, even though it's still a little bit lacking, but it's never going to get much better than what it is now because of the size of the thing, because it's so light. It's actually, a, mine's a gram lighter than that one. So, should you upgrade? Well, the problem you've got is it's going to be expensive to upgrade because the bottoms obviously fell out of these now. So, these tend to go on eBay between this and 280 to 320, and that is for the Fly More combo. I've seen it go with one battery for 220. And this is 549 for the combo. So you need to work out in your own mind whether it's worth upgrading. If you don't already own this drone, just go buy this. It's as simple as this. You're not going to get anything better than this. This blows everything else in its in the marketplace out of the water in this kind of price range. So I'm talking Femi, Hubson, all them type of stuff. And the stuff even below them, which isn't even worth talking about, it's just blown them out. And that's because of the way it flies now, the camera quality on it and the OcuSync too. So I've, people have mentioned, or someone mentioned in my comments that uh, people had had problems with OcuSync. I've gone online and I've checked and people said, I've had nothing whatsoever. Close range, it's fine. Distance, it's fine. The video that I uh, filmed and you saw the other day, that was 1.1 mile away, 1.2 mile away, and it was faultless. Down at that place that I fly, the Mini wouldn't even get 500 meters. That's the difference. So it's probably double the range of the initial Mini. And I did not lose range. I just turned round. Uh, it was quite grey over the way I was going. And I thought I don't really want to go down there anymore. So the massive difference. And the quality of the camera is different now. But the one thing I will say is they both have the same cameras, believe it or not. Everything's identical on them cameras. Apart from the fact that this one has a zoom function. This one, sorry, has a zoom function and also has 4K. If you're buying it for the zoom, I certainly won't bother because all it's doing is digital zooming, which is not the best. And because of the size of this sensor, you're going to see grain in that footage. Let's be fair, this is not going to look grain free because of the fact that it's such a small sensor. You need like uh, a three quarter, uh, sorry, two thirds sensor minimum, or you're going to need an inch sensor to get that kind of extra crisp thing if you want to zoom in on your video. But even then, I still wouldn't bother. So I wouldn't buy it for that reason. But it has got a 4K camera. I do wish, and I so wish that I put 2.7K30, 60 on it, instead of just leave it at 2.7K30. They've obviously got the ability to do that because obviously the same cameras and they can be upgraded. But the problem would be then, would it be too close to the Mavic Air 2? And I think that would be the biggest problem and the reason why it hasn't been done. There's probably little I can say about this than everybody else said. Apart from the fact I love this clamp. I've seen people complain about this thing. I think it's amazing. It's so easy to put on and it just does the job when you put it in your case. The case it comes with, I think, is all right for the money. It's not the best in the world, but it's free at the end of the day. Well, free. Kind of. I'm paying 549 quid for it. But the case is okay. It does its job. It holds us the three batteries, the drone, some cables and you can get other stuff in there i've actually got a set of filters in there and i've also got a set of extended landing gear which i did have for this and it's a godsend if you want to hand, not hand catch it or if you want to specifically fly to somewhere and land because of the gimbal so low on this then that's what i do i tend to hand catch them if i'm just flying where i flew from the video you saw the other day so I'm going to include some video at the end of this. Now they are filmed in different places. You can go back and check. I did a video on the Mavic. The original video for the Mini 2 was filmed around where I live. I haven't got that video, the initial foot, uh, original footage anymore. I deleted it. I have no idea why, but I actually deleted it. So if you want to check that out, you can go back and check that video. But I've included video footage of this and this. This is flying around where I live and this is the original footage from the other day. You can compare them both. I'm not putting them side by side, I'm putting them full screen. Side by side doesn't give you a fair reflection of what it looks like. I don't think it... You have to manipulate your screen to get it to fit and it doesn't fit right. So I'm going to put side by side just a couple of minute clips of each one. The reason I'm not going down to fly it today is I've actually sold this and I'm not going to fly it now. So it's going to be shipped today to someone. So I'm not going to go fly the drone again, obviously. Uh, and the reason I sold it is because I'll never fly it again. I don't. You'd never. You certainly wouldn't want to own both of these. It's completely pointless because this beats it in every single way. So 
why you'd ever fly this again, I don't know. So, is this still a good drone? Fantastic. And now the price that you can pick it up for, and what I sold mine for, people can get a real bargain. Three batteries, the case and everything else. If you can pick that up for 300 on eBay, I'd go for it. Definitely. Would I go for that over this? Possibly, yes. If I was new to the, especially if I'm new to the hobby, I've never had a drone before, would I spend 300 or 550? I'd probably go 300 because have I got a 4K television? That's going to be a big thing. If you've got a 4K TV, obviously that's going to sway your decision. If you haven't, you'd probably go for this one. It's not as good in the wind, but these of them are fantastic in the wind. That one's just okay and that one's not great at all. But don't fly in wind. You know, flying five, six miles an hour, you'll be fine. So I'd possibly then go for that because the difference is massive. And if you're not bothered about the range and your proximity fly, which I think still what these drones are made for, then you're going to be fine. Will I ever take this thing out to a full four kilometres or three miles? Probably not because of what it is. I'd, if I want to fly that distance, I'll go with the Air 2. I wouldn't use this. But all in all, fantastic drone. Well done, DJI. You've got another winner on your hands. And if you are looking and it's a first-time purchase of a drone and you don't own one before you, and you can afford it, go for this. If you, if you don't own a 4K TV and you're not bothered about uh, crazy range, get a second hand one of these i'd imagine if new people if people have got stock of the new ones they're going to come down at the minute i've looked around today and they're still charging 449 for this bundle and to be fair you're not going to pay 449 when you can buy that for 549 i don't think so anyway the 100 not enough money if you can pick it up second hand for 300 or less go for it so i'll leave you with the video footage like i say they're not filmed in the same place so don't go in different places go watch the video i did before to watch the video of it of the mini 2 flying in exactly the same place as the video is going to be put in the mini one so thanks ever so much for watching have a fantastic day don't forget if you've not subscribed hit that subscribe button i really need you subscribes thanks very much bye bye <laughs>
thanks for watching my channel. If you like the video, please subscribe and hit the like button and also hit that notification bell. There's plenty more good stuff coming up.